Hey everybody, so today we have a video on how to install DLSS or XESS for the Intel users, pretty similar. Uh, for Starfield. So right now it has DLSS2 support through this mod. Uh, right now Starfield only supports FSR2 and it's pretty much a kind of a replacement. So you'll keep FSR2 enabled and then just swap this in here. So I'll have the link in the description and in the comments uh, for you to go to the main page here and then you can download everything. So we're going to go to files first here. We're just going to go to manual download here and we'll do slow download and we'll do the five seconds. Let that download and I'll show you how this works. Okay, that's done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back uh, to the description here and we're just going to go ahead and get the upscaler base plugin as well. We're going to go to files again and we're going to go ahead and manual download the latest one and slow download obviously. Okay, we'll go back to the top here. We'll go to the description. And we have to download the DLSS uh, DLL. You can also go and get the, you won't need the FSR2 because it's part of it, but you'll need the, um, the XESS uh, as well here. So, um, if, or sorry, you don't need that as well. If you're using the Intel uh, GPUs, you want the XES, XESS for us uh, NVIDIA users. You just grab this. So, we're going to go here. I'm just going to grab the latest one here. I'm just going to grab their server here. It downloads instantly, and this is really it. Um, th these are safe, but you, you know, you're going to have some warnings and things like that. So we'll just continue downloading, have it scan. Why not? Uh, and then that's it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Steam and open everything up here. So I have Steam over here. Now, I've already tested this and installed this, so I know it works. Uh, but basically, you're going to go to your Steam folder or wherever your game is installed. You can actually do this pretty quickly. Uh, so if you open up Steam here, you can go library, right click, browse local files, and then it'll pop up. Ta-da! And there you have it. So uh, what we're going to do first is if we go back to the, we might as well go back to the instructions because they're right there for you, right? So it just makes it easier here. Is this the original one? Uh, no. Let's keep going. There you go. You the right one? No, we're, <laughs> we have to keep going. There you go. So the instructions right here says extract this mod in the game root. So that's pretty easy. Let's go to downloads here. And we're going to go ahead and grab the the one right here. So we're going to go Starfield, blah, blah, blah. We're going to click that. And we're going to take this and put it on our Starfield one. Now, it, it, you don't have to replace anything because there shouldn't be anything to replace. Like I said, I've already installed this. So I'm just redoing it. But I'm going to go ahead and replace everything here. And then what you're going to do is go into the new created uh, mods folder. You're going to go to upscaler base one. And then what you're going to do is take the upscaler one you downloaded. And you're just going to go ahead and dump this in here. So you can just go like this. I'm replacing it. Obviously, your folder would be blank in here. There'd be two. There would be nothing in there. And then we're going to get the NVIDIA version as well. And we're going to go ahead and once again, we're going to dump this in here. So we've done everything twice anyways. I'm just replacing them for this video. And then that is it. We should be good. So we're just going to go on to Steam here. We're going to boot up uh, Starfield here. And as long as you've enabled, you can even see that reshader. Yes, reshader 5.9.2 is installed. So now you can also do reshader stuff, which is awesome. So what you can now do here is hit the N key and look at this. You already have the options right there. Um, and now I don't know actually how, oh, there you go. I was going to say, I know there's a way to get your mouse there. You have to get out of the title stain. So you use auto exposure. You can enable, disable, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so there you go. You got your resolution here, support. Uh, do, you know, you have your default uh, presets and stuff like this. Uh, you got your sharpness and uh, yeah, you can enable and disable. And now to make sure this works, obviously the one thing you do have to uh, make sure you enable and uh, by default it would be anyways, is the FSR. If that's not enabled, you wouldn't be getting that. So, um, and then, yeah, that is literally it. That is how you enable DLSS. This is at least 2.0 at this time. It would be the pretty much the same instructions, except you're probably downloading it from his Patreon dire directly for the DLSS 3, which will probably be coming out soon, maybe even 3.5 someday. But uh, anyways, hopefully those instructions are simple and uh, easy for you guys to understand. And uh, yeah, check the description and comments on uh, the direct link to it. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing, commenting, liking. We'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.